Hello, um, I'm calling because I see like weird, suspicious activity. From on show disturbing an outdoor crime alert tonight, Pearl Springs police arresting a man for calling 911 all for a video prank. The police chief says this was no laughing matter. Police saying that this stunt was no joke as it wasted their resources. Police say that in hopes of showing cops harassing the young men, Sid and his buddies lured officers to a phony suspicious activity call. Activity investigators said was consistent with a drug deal. Jason Sid and his accomplices think they're funny, but what they really are doing is taking four Coral Springs police officers out of service for other true emergencies. The Coral Springs Police Department takes this seriously. I'm personally offended by the waste of our resources. Whether this was to entertain or not, this investigation is ongoing and more arrests are likely. So that is going to be something that they're going to be looking for now, filling lanes, trying to get uh Trying to get through some of the slower traffic. Now he's to get off the freeway. Oh, here we go. Here okay, we go. now oh, he's lost it. Just fishtailed. Just fishtailed. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy. Yo, Rock and Bone, aka a whole lot of green must AK. Hey! Geyser! 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 Nate! So! Ugly and it, bitch! I got it again with another YouTube video! Ooh, 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 ooh. Boy, I got a story time to tell you, bruh. Hey, bruh, before I even start, bruh, go get your food, bruh. Go get your snacks right now, bruh. I'm gonna let y'all get y'all snacks right now. I'm, I'm waiting right here. You know, you know, I'm gonna eat me, I'm gonna eat me a little glizzy. You feel me? I, I love a little glizzy. You gotta keep the glizzy on you. Mmm, 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 mmm. Always gotta keep the glizzy on you, feel me? Mm. Mm. Where to my mother and my wild. But why do y'all New York people do that? Y'all be where to my mother. I said where to my Where to my mother Where to my dead mother on facts, bro, and God on gang. Where to my mother be? Where to my Where to my mother Anyways, you already read the title, so you already know what's going on. Yes, bruh. Yo boy done got arrested, bruh. Yo boy done got arrested. Bruh. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro, what I'm about to tell you, bro, I wouldn't believe it until I see it, bro. This is no joke. Look, before I even, even start explaining everything, look, I don't encourage no activities at all. No gang violence, no gang begging, no drugs selling, none of that, bro. Dude, I'm not encouraging none of that. Please. Be dangerous on your own safety, fam. If you doing dangerous stuff, bro. Jail ain't for you, my boy. And none of that jail, prison, none of that ain't for you, bro. But your boy went to jail, bro. So listen, bro. So pay attention and eat your snacks, bro. Man, these folks, these folks got, got their hit his shit. No cap. So basically, let me tell you why I went to jail. If you haven't seen the video yet, I did a video with my dog Sid, J Wonder, Jeff, Chris, I'm not trying to name a lot of people because I don't want them to get in trouble. Oh, I also forgot my But like I said again, I'm not trying to name all the people that's involved, you feel me? That's police, bro. I ain't not snitching, bro. I ain't not snitching on nobody, bro. Well, actually, only me, Sid, and Jay Wonder went to jail, but they is coming after my boy, Jeff, as well. You get what I'm saying? Basically, the main reason why we got arrested is because we did a coke prank on the cops. If you haven't seen it, go see it. I'm not finna explain it. Basically, we prank police think we got coke, but really, it's Coca-Cola. Basically, that's it. But not only did we prank the cops, bro, we pranked the most hottest cops in our county, bro, in our city, bro. You know how everybody has a hot, like, that one spot you just don't want to try to police at? This was that one spot, bro. It's called Coral Springs, bro. So if you ever, if you live in Broward, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't live in Broward or in the state of Florida, listen, if you come down, let's say you stay in Fort Lauderdale, and let's say you might drive past by Coral Springs, Listen to me right now, bro. If you go by Cold Springs, please be drive safe. Don't have nothing on you. An ounce of weed. They gonna, they gonna, they gonna be on. They gonna arrest you for every little 
Because they is on that. They on top of that, bro. They do not play no games, bro. None of that. Every When I used to have a car, when I be driving in Cold Springs, I never once tried it with them, bro. On my own safety. That, that was my first time ever trying it. And look where it got me, bro. They do not play no games, bro. They going to come and get you, bro. Basically, in that prank, literally the first I would say the first 30 seconds of that video, you will see me calling 911. You get what I'm saying? So basically, at first, I didn't want to do it, but I eventually did it because it was just like effing. In that video, I basically called 911 for the video to even happen. Video done, boom, we pranked the cops successful. They came. After I called them, cops come, prank on, prank works, boom, done, bow. Simple. I, I kind of know, but didn't know that you could get charged for that. I'm thinking like when you call the police, they're going to be like, oh, don't do that. Blah, blah, blah. But nah, that's that's actually a charge, bro. That's actually a charge, bro. So three days, I would say three days, three or two days after dropping the video, bro. They come get my boy Sid, bro. Them boys came. They was undercover. They got my boy Sid. Undercover, bro. They were parked up by his house undercover like it was a regular day they done got my boy said if you have not seen that if you have not seen that they were part of they got my boy said bro so i was like damn they literally came and got that boy but at first i thought damn they got they arrested him even though i did the call so i'm like bro we straight bro we green like everything they not coming bro bro eight days after that day they come get my boy Jay Wonder, bro. They did the same exact thing, fam. They parked up, waited for him to come outside and got his ass, bro. Bro, after when they got him, bro, I knew shit don't got serious, bro. Shit don't got serious. After me, after he came out of jail, he literally told me, he said, Nate, I ain't gonna lie, they about to come for you, fam. I don't know when, I don't know how, but they about to come for you, bro. I know they coming. Be ready, bro. So I'm just like, bro, they not finna get me. Because where I stay, bro, I stay on the street, bro. And I have cameras around my house. I could literally see everyone that walks past by a ant, a roach, a cockroach cannot breathe around me without me seeing them. You get what I'm saying? I see everything 360. I see it all. Oh, you see that right there. I see it. I might put it, put it up somewhere. You're going to see it. I see everything. So if you ever try to try me, try me on your own caution, you're going to be caught in 4K HD. You get what I'm saying? So, boom. After they got him and he came out, he told me that, you feel me? I was just like, damn, you feel me? My heart started dropping you a little bit. I was like, okay, okay. I think they might come. Or I don't know what's going on, but I'm, I'm going to be prepared. You feel me? If them if, In my head, I already put that mindset. If them boys going to try to get me, they got to catch me slipping, slipping. And I wasn't slipping, slipping. Every time I walked outside the house, I would look both ways. I, rem I memorized every car that was in my road. Like, that's how serious I was. Like, every time I walk out, I would take a picture of every car. Because they was pulling up in undercover cars, getting getting them boys. So, I learned. You feel me? I'm learning. I'm feeling like, okay. they. I'm learning. You feel me? I'm like, okay. They, they can't come get me. You feel me? I got to. I'm taking pictures. You feel me? I, I know. You feel me? I know what car not supposed to be there. So every time I walk outside, you feel me? I, I, I'm checking. I'm there. I'm right there. You feel me? Days goes by, and you feel me? I'm thinking like, okay, they not coming. You feel me? Even though every day, because you know they they can't really try me like that. They gotta catch me slipping, slipping like at a at a mall or something, or they gotta face scan me or something. You feel me? So one day, my boy Rod hit me up and said, "Yo, Nate, let's do a video." I said, "Boom, okay, let's do a video." Come pick me up. We go to the destination of the video, bro. Literally, when I got to the destination of the video, I get a phone call from my mama, bro. From my mama, bro. So usually when my mama calls me, it's always because she wants something or she just needs help with something or she just need to ask a question. Bro. When my mama called me, bro. My mama called me and said, I answered the phone like this. I said, hello? She said, Nathan. Can you come home, please? I said, what? Come home? At first, I was like, come home? Like, what you mean? Like, I'm 22, mama. Like, who coming home? You better wait for your boy to come home. You feel me? I'm kind of grown. You feel me? But she was just like, come home. Whatever you're doing, can you just come home, please? Please, just come home. I'm like, bro, what's going on, bro? You feel me? This is my first time ever hearing my mom so quiet like this. She said, look, there's police outside my house. They're asking questions about you. You need to come. 
My heart don't drop, bro. My heart don't drop to my booty hole. Bro, she told me police is at my house. So instead of them doing it undercover, they took a direct approach and came at your boy. They was at my they was at my door with it ready to take me, bro. She just kept saying they're here to ask questions. They not here to ask questions, mama. They not here to ask questions. They trying to take me to jail. Read me. Help me. You feel me? I'm, I feel like she had me on speaker when she was talking to me. Hello? Uh, can you come home? Where you at? Uh, do you want me to come get you? What do you mean come get me? At the police said it was at your house? You want the police to follow you where I'm at so you can come get me to come back home? So they can ask me questions? Come on, man. I ain't... I, I never... I'm not an old felon, but I ain't no rookie. You hear what I'm saying? Look, bro. So after, like, she kept blowing me up. She's saying, to, like, I'm telling her, okay, I'm going to come home. This and that. Already in my mind, I'm like, okay, if I go home, I know what time it is. But the thing is, I ain't shower, nor I didn't eat. I wanted to shower and eat first before I go to jail, you feel me? Because when she told me that, I ain't going to lie, I did have a little doodle stain in my drawers. So, like, it wasn't going to really work like that, you feel me? I ain't want nobody smelling my booty hole in jail type stuff, you feel me? I ain't know what jail was like. I was go by, she telling me, pull up. All this other stuff, but you know, as she keep calling me pull up, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna pull up, but I'm still helping my boy Rod. So, seven, I think, hours has passed. I get home around, no, 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 no. Prior to when, like, she kept blowing me up, first it was two cops that pulled up. Then, it was six cops. They left and came back. It's like, look, is he here? Because I kept telling her I'm finna pull up in like 20, 20 to 15 minutes. They left and came back and said, is he here? But they came back with more cars deep. You feel me? And they keep saying, we just want to ask him. We just want to ask him a few questions. How you six cops deep? And you want to ask a black man question? Bro, if I jump out that car right now in front of the house, they taking me to the sky. They, they finna have, they finna have me like this. I finna, I finna be like chill. Not in front of my mama. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, they finna be happy. They finna take me to the sky, bro. Bro, police don't play, bro. It's Cold Springs police after your boy. They do not play, bro. So look, bro. hours pass by. I get home, but no police. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn. First thing I did was take a shower. Second thing I did, ate a good food. I'm thinking they about to come back, but they didn't. I get a call from my boy. They're like, damn, Nate, where you at? Da -da -da, you know, police outside your house. Da -da -da -da, this and that, you feel me? Because they saw my house when they were driving past by. Da -da. I was like, I'm home. He was like, you home? Bro, get out of home, bro. Hide, bro. Hide. You, want, you don't want them to take you to jail and you spend there and you spend two hours there. Like, they basically, the main reason why I didn't really want to go to jail, I was going to, I was kind of prepared to go, but not really go because I didn't want them to take me. And it was the weekend and I had to come Monday because this literally was happening on Thursday. I'm thinking like, damn, I gotta stay like two or threes in jail just for a little 911 call. Like, Y'all got me, nah, you feel me? So basically, after my boy had called me, he was like, okay, you gotta go somewhere. Just turn yourself in on Monday because you don't wanna spend the weekend. I was like, all right, boom. I'm finna go hide out at a little house, you feel me? I went to the little house, I went over there. I was chilling on bullet. I was like, okay, I know the game plan. I'm finna just turn myself in on Monday. Everything cool, knock it out, I could get out in and out type stuff you feel me and i was at the little hideout or whatever where i was at basically i went to the hideout like around like three o'clock in the morning again i did not step outside the house or nothing like that i was just chilling cooling it you feel me just vibing bruh my boy said don't call me he said yo your mama is stressing listen because i didn't answer no phone calls all day bro i was in the cut watching my shoes eating chilling until it's time for monday it's a Friday, 10 o'clock, 10.30. My boy said, call me, he said, yo, listen, bro. Your mom calling, your mom's DMing people, your mom texting your, my mom was literally DMing my friends, texting them, saying she's stressed, bro. Look, bro, this is, this is the DM right here, bro. She's literally sending, like, she probably copy and pasted twice because my homeboy sent it to me and I think my ex done sent it to me. She said, this is what she's saying, like, bro. She is DMing my friends saying, yo, tell Nate to come home, turn himself in, I'm stressed out, da da da, -da. This, and I was like, damn, bro. My boy said, was like, look, listen, Nate, let's just turn you in, knock it out. If you stay for the weekend, you stay for the weekend. F it. You don't want to make it worse on yourself because I guess the police kept telling my mom, look, if, I keep, if I'm hiding, bro, I could face five to ten years. I could face five to ten years. Bro, 
least five to ten years for a misdemeanor. A misdemeanor for five to ten years? Oh, police. Oh, Cold Spring police. Y'all really doing y'all one for real, for real. You feel me? I could have faced five to ten years. That's what they was telling my mama. So basically, I was like, boom. So Sid was like, drop your location. I dropped my location. They come pick me up. They were like, okay, we finna take you straight there. Is there anything you wanna do? You wanna take a shower, this and that? I was like, bro, I'm straight. You feel me? I took my shower, I ate my food, I'm ready to go in there. They dropped me off at the place. I walk in, two officers was like, what are you here for? What do you, how can I help you? You feel me? They like this, they like, what are you here for? You feel me? I'm walking in, I'm kinda like, I'm just like walking slowly because I'm just so disappointed. Like, you feel me? I'm walking slowly. Then they were just like, what you here for? How can I help you? I was like, listen, bro, I'm turning myself in. They're like, all right. Sit over there. Let's get your information down. Let's see why you turn yourself in. They do the little paperwork. I'm sitting, chilling, this and that. You feel me? I'm in the little office or whatever. They search up my name. You feel me? I give them my information. Then they'll just like, oh, okay. I was like, oh, so you know what you're arrested for? Like this and that. I said, yeah. I guess like I called 911. You feel me? And I, I, I you know, I prayed the police, blah, blah, blah. They're like, okay, we searching it up. At first, they try to, they search my name up. And they was like, damn, you do drugs? I'm like, no, no, no. You got the wrong. I got the wrong one, I don't be doing drugs, but I said, look, you feel me, they were trying to, you feel me, they were trying to pin me on another charge, no, I'm like, bro, I'm a black man, bro, I don't care, oh, don't put them random charges on my thing, I said, look, I'm here for this, not that, so they, they did that, you feel me, they put me in handcuffs, and they took me to the place, bro, they did the mouth swab and all that, they did some COVID testing type stuff, you feel me, and then all that other stuff. So then, that's when they, this is when they start processing you. This is where, where you really want to pay attention, feel me? If you ever go to jail. Look, bro. They're going to take you to a place. And I basically, it's basically like the holding the processing area. You feel me? This is when they process your bond. Tell you why you got arrested. What your bond is. And even if you have a bond or not. Or stuff like that. You feel me? So basically, I walk in. I'm already seeing uniforms already. I'm like, okay. About to have a uniform. They... They tell me to strip down this and that, this and that. I ain't gonna lie, this is probably the most weirdest thing that I ever done in there, bro. They take you to a small room, bro. They take you to a small room, a, like a boxed out room, bro. They hand you your clothes. They hand you the uniform you about to put on, you feel me? They hand you the little, the scrubs or whatever, you feel me? Some weird ass scrubs, whatever. They ugly, raggedy scrubs. They hand it to you. It puts you in the box, right? They say, they, in the, and while you holding the clothes in your hand, they tell you, take off your shirt. I took off my shirt. Then he said, all right, what I want you to do, and this is a guy telling me this. This is a man telling me this, you feel me? The man said, I want you to turn around, drop your pants to your ankles, squat, and cough. He said, what, bruh? He said, I want you to turn around. I want your pants to your ankles, squat, and cough. So I'm like, wait, you want me to, like, take my shorts off and keep my underwear? No, I want you butt naked, fam. Squat and cough. So he want me to go like this. And <clears throat> you feel me? Like, he want me to do that. So that's what I did. I squatted, you feel me? My booty hole. I, I, at first I was like, bro, this is so weird, bro. But I did it. I went like, you feel me? I went like this, you feel me? I do a little, you do a little, uh, I do a little exercise. I squat, I did my little squat. And I, uh, you feel me? He's like, there you go. He said, all right, there you go. I'm like, I don't know, feel me? So I put on the clothes, this and that. Now it's time for, the, me, for them to put me in the system. You feel me? I go on this little, this machine. They scanned in my body. All that other stuff. They start doing my fingerprints. And then I was just like, damn, bro. How can I make this moment legendary, bro? And there it was. The camera. Right there in my face. Bro, my boy said, all right, bro. I want you to, you're back on the wall. And I want you to look at this camera right here. All right. So I was like, okay, he not going to tell me to say cheese or none of that. This and that. Because I asked my dog, I said, how was it when you took your picture? They just tell you to look at something and they take the picture. I said, okay. I instantly found the camera and I busted out a smile. I said, I said, you feel me? Y'all saw this? Let me show y'all one more time. Let me show y'all one more time. I said, you feel I gave them that. You feel they was not ready. So once I took the picture, bro, look, 
Once I took the picture, he looked at the picture that I took. He saw me smiling. He turned around. He started smiling. And he was just like, are you serious, bro? You happy to be here? I was like, look, bro. Let's just get this over with, man. After all that, he took, they took me to the holding area. They said, look, just wait in the cell 405. You feel me? Cell 405. They said either go in cell 405. So basically, they were just like, just send 405 until they call you up. That's what he said. I'm walking, and I already see a group of people in the same uniform my man. This and that is either I go to the first one or the second one. So I just hit the first one because I didn't really know what I was doing. I just went in the first one. As soon as I walked in the first one, fam, I'm the floor dirty. Room tight. There's like seven, eight other people in the same room as me. There's three people on the floor sleeping around me. Sleep, bro. Three people sleep on It was just like, damn. Like, it, it, that's when it really hit me. Like, bro, I'm in jail right now, bro. There's people sleeping on the floor, like they happy to sleep on the floor. And this and that, bro. I was like, bro, this is weird, bro. People feet crusty, all this other stuff, feet ashy, all this other. I know I'd be ashy, but the way they be ashy, bro, that was not it, bro. They was sleeping on the floor. Literally, you're gonna walk in, someone could be sleeping right in front of you. Their toilet was literally right in front of you. If someone were to take a shit, we can all see that motherfucker taking a shit. You were gonna take a shit right in front of your ass. You gonna take a piss right in front of your ass. And hey, y'all know how y'all like to keep the seat down? That motherfucker seat up, bro. Your booty hole gonna be probably touching the water as we speak, bro. That motherfucker was taking a shit and you would he would take a shit in front. But luckily no one took a shit in front of me, bro. But people was peeing, this and that doing their thing, whatever. Prior to when I was in the holding, bro. Prior to when I was in the holding, bro, there was literally a girl that was complaining. Like she said, the officers came. The officers that arrested her roughed her up and she's bleeding, bro. Like they didn't this is how much this is how much they don't care about. They don't care about you, bro. They don't care about you. Listen, bro, there's a girl that said she's in pain. Uh, she uh, she was bleeding from an officer. Officer beat her ass and all this other stuff. She said she first walked up to the, the front desk and said, you know, where the, there's in the holding you there's a holder you could talk to a certain officer to talk, you feel me, at the front desk. She was like, oh my god. I, I I need my, I'm on medication. I need medication. I need my medication. I need some something to relieve my pain. Please and thank you. The officer just like okay, sure, all right, whatever, bro. Thirty minutes later, bro, she comes out the holding cell. She said, I'm. Uh, I need my medication. I need my medication now. It's a, it's a, it's a dark skinned girl, but uh, that's what I'm sounding like. That. I need my medication. This is how she was. I need my medication. I need my medication. I need it now. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. It hurts. I need my medication. I need it. I can't take this pain no more. Y'all do not care about me in here. Y'all do not care. You feel me? She was complaining like a Karen, bruh. Bruh. While she was yelling, bruh, literally the floor was clear, bro. All of a sudden, you see nine police officers just come out of nowhere ready to do it to her, bruh. Ready to do it to her, bruh. Ready to just... Ready to just oh, time, bro. They was about to slam her, but they do not care about you, bro. There's another guy that was in the cell as well. They put him in like a a, com, a confined. You know when people be tripping, they put him in a confined unit. He was banging on the glass, bro, bro. My kids are at home. Nobody's watching my kids. They're two years old. Da -da -da. They said they they didn't say they didn't care, but they said it in a way. They said it so educational. But if you break it down, they basically said, listen, bro, we don't care about that. We care about you. You did something stupid. They did it. Whoever's watching them, someone's going to handle that when they find out you're in jail. But whoever's watching those two kids, bro, it's straight, bro. They finna, you feel me? That's all, bro. That's all. They don't care about you, bro. They don't, bro. It's like, bro, they going to keep you. They going to. You a dog in there, bro. That's what dog. I, that's, I think that's how dogs feel. Because they put they, you a dog in there, but they don't care about you. So, bro, tread lightly. Walk lightly if you're going to be out here doing some dumbass shit, bro. Because once they have you in that bed, you're a dare bitch now, bro. You holding their pockets. You day bitch. You know what I'm saying? This is just Jeff. I don't even know what prison is like. You feel me? So I don't even want to talk about that. I don't, have, I don't have no experience in prison, but I damn sure don't want to go there after experience that shit right there. Let me tell you about the food they were feeding us while we was waiting. And remind you, I was in that cell, that cell itself, for seven hours. That was not the first part. 
Like, and that was only the first part. There's a second part, bro. That was only the first part, bro. That's the crazy thing. I was in there for seven hours sitting on some hard, cold steel, room musky, barely AC. You feel me? The food they were feeding us, bro, it was just like some stale ass bread with some cold ass peanut butter and some crackers. You know what I'm saying? Literally, motherfuckers would take the food, bro. Motherfuckers from the ground would wake up, take the food, and make the food into a pillow, and fall asleep. They turned the bread into a pillow. I said, bro, what? Bro, I, I, I mean, I took the food because it's just like, I just took it just because. I ain't wasn't planning on eating it, this and that. I mean, I, I was going to try the crackers. I'm letting my food sit. Bro, a, man, a nigga walked in the room. He literally walked in the cell. He said, bro, you, you want that, bro? You want to eat that, bro? He, he said, bro, you, you want that, bro? I said, no, you can have it, bro. Here, take it, take it. Man, snatched my food and tore that bitch up. He tore it up in my face. But man put peanut butter on his hand. He scooped the peanut butter with the bread. He started busting it down, bro. He was like, mm. well, I'm so hungry, bro. I'm so, I'm so hungry, bro. Like, he just kept saying that. I was like, bro, chill, bro. But, like, bro, the food was disgusting. People in there didn't care, bro. Like, that's really how you, like, see, like, people didn't even care. But the crazy thing is, um... But the crazy, the most crazy thing is, is the stories that they tell because everybody in there is really asking why you in here for what you in here, why you in there, this and that, bro. Majority of people was in there because they had warrants for their arrest, that they was hiding for two or one years, more than two, two or one year, and they finally come and came and got them, you feel me? And other people was in there for domestic violence. Only one person was in there for like attempted murder. But he was a cripple. I'm like, how this cripple man did attempt and murder? You'll be shot of what people got charged with. There's just one guy literally in the cell, bro, saying, bro, the reason why I'm in jail because I punched a girl in the eye and she busted a blood vessel in her eye. But she's not going to press charges. But when she come out, I'm going to do it again. I said, bro, what is wrong with you, bro? There's people are maniacs in there. One guy in there because he slapped up at his mama, bro. Yo, mama, bro. He said, bro, that ain't my mama, bro. It was like mostly black people working there, surprisingly. But the people that was working there was women. There was one, like females working the front desk, bro. And then it was like when they call you up, they call you one by one. But there's like a 40 to 30 minute gap to each person they call. It's like they want you to wait, bro. Like you're in jail. They're going to make you feel it because you did something bad. They, gonna, they don't care what you did or nothing. They're going to give everybody that same feeling. And that remind you, it's not even that's the first part. There's a second part, bro. But they're going to make you wait. But they're going to hold you with the musky, dirty behind people. You're going to see like two shift changes, bro. Like people coming off of work to go into work. That's how you know they holding you, bro. They holding you in there, bro. You're going you gonna to feel it. The process, the holding is, gonna, is long. It's a cru that's crucial hours, bro. That when I, say, I, I, when I told myself, okay, I'm going to thug it out, bro. They gave it to me, bro. They gonna make me thug it, bro. It was just gaps of gaps. I literally was waiting to get a pin number to make calls. I had to wait seven to six hours just to get an a inmate number to make a call, bro. That's how crazy it was. They call me up, finally call me up. That's like, okay, this is what you're charged for. This and that, woody woo. And the lady saw my mugshot. She started smiling. She was like, <laughs> you feel me? She started smiling. She was like, oh, you think, oh, oh, you, got, oh, you smiling like that, boy? You, you look cute. And I said, hold on, hold on. I'm in jail, miss. Don't get me hard now. Because, you know, after I was done talking to you, I have to go back in there. You trying to arouse me? I said, hold on. I said, miss, what's your Instagram? You feel me? She said it. And I was like, what? Repeat that? And she was like, no. Nah. But I, I was trying to remember everything she said, bro. I got home. I looked up the IG. And I said, no way. You looking this thick in jail. But I ain't gonna lie. The girls they had work in there was kind of thick, though. You feel me? Even though I was in a room full of, like, musky and dirty-ass people, I kept looking at the workers. I was like, damn, these... Y'all should have arrested me if I knew, if I knew y'all pulling up to the scene. I was shit put me in handcuffs, baby. Treat me like a naughty boy. I'm a bad boy. You feel me? Ain't no way you look at this thick, bro. And when I found her, I found her friends too. I, hold on, arrest me, arrest me. You feel me? Once the process is over, I got my bond is out. This and that. Boom, boom, boom. They take you to your cell, your actual cell. 
And when I walked in, when I walked in, um, they took me to the cell. And then now this is a cell, and it's like a group of people. Now this one is like a group of people, this and that. But they all have everybody's paired up though. I walk in from the to the back. They just said go to any room. I walk in. A Mexican guy pop out of nowhere. He said, "You Pedro?" I said, "No, bro. Back up, bro. You feel me? I ain't want no problems. You feel me?" He said, "Oh, my bad, friend. I go to sleep." I go sleep now. I said, okay, you go to sleep. You feel me? I go to sleep. And then, you know, there was a top buck and a bottom buck. They told you, grab a blanket too. So I have a blanket with me too. You feel me? The blanket was kind of cozy. And the mat, I ain't gonna lie, even though it was uncomfortable, it still was comfortable at the same time. Because it was nice and cold in there. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna knock out. So I knock out. You feel me? This and that. They changed my cellmate because I guess he got bonded out. And there was a black man that I was in cell with. You feel me? Okay. Oh, and but by the way, the people that I was in the holding cell with, some of them were actually cool though. Even though they was telling crazy stories how one day was running away from police and domestic violence and all this other stuff. Like, they were still cool. You feel me? So, boom. This is where they just hold you until someone gets you. I'm going to tell you once again, the food that they are feeding you, bro. There's, and there was another food that they were feeding us, bro. And all you drink is water. You don't drink no juice or nothing like that. I think you could drink coffee. But all they give you is water. Bro. They gave me a plate, bro. This is a whole different plate. This is not the bread with the peanut butter. This is a plate, bro. I bust open the plate. I was the first person to get my plate. Bro. It was like rice is under... They had sh whatever shit on top. They had a piece of cornbread sticked on the shit. They had minted cookies and they had carrots on the side. So they had veggies, sweets, cornbread, and rice with no salt with shit on top. Like, like grinded shit meat. You get what I'm saying? That's how they were feeding you, bro. And, bro, I literally was watching people bust down this food because there's people that have probably been here longer than this. And they program, bro. They be programming you, bro. They make you want to realize this is the best you're going to get, bro. you going to eat this. Bro, I literally got my food and I was just staring at it. I never once stared at food that long. I said, bro, I am not eating this. But then again, I was really hungry. I did not eat while I was in the holding cell. So I was like, F it. I started eating and it was not it was not good, but I had to thug it out. But bro, you see people arguing over food. They say, oh, you not finna eat that. Oh, let me get a piece of that bread. Bro, you don't want that. When someone asked me for my food, I gave it to them. I said, here, have it, bro. You can take it, bro. You can have the whole, bro, you want the cherry on top. You can have, you want the spoon? You want my spoon? You can have the spoon, you can take it, bro. I ain't want to beef with nobody. I want everything to go straight. The cellmate that I was with, he said he wanted to take a shit in the room. He didn't want to take a shit while I was in the room. Because literally, you, once you, in that room, there's a toilet right in front of you. You have, Once you take, you have to do your business right in front of the person. Like, they could see you, bro. There's no hiding, no curtains, no nothing. He said you, he wanted to take a shit. I said, bro, take a shit right in front of me, bro. Do your business. I don't care, bro. I don't care what you do, bro. He's like, bro, appreciate that. I said, bro, do what you gotta do, bro. Oh, uh, how they want you to take a shower? There's one shower, bro. Literally one shower head. Like, it's not a hallway. It's not a gang of showers or nothing. Like, it's literally one shower out of 40 people, bro. Everybody is taking a turn in that shower, bro. And I was not taking a shower. I was not planning on taking a shower. Even though they gave me a bar of soap, some stale out bar of soap rag that everybody used. I was not taking a shower, bro. Simple. Simple as that. I was not finna take a shower, bro. Who finna? Who finna? Nobody dropping no soap over here, bro. Who going in that shower, bro? Nobody dropping my shower. And what's crazy is my room, my cell was literally right next to the shower, bro. If anything, if I'm in the shower, they finna pick me up and take me to the room and take my cheeks, bro. That's how it felt, bro. But nah, bro. I ain't going in that shower, bro. I said, bro, I'm about to come out, bro. There ain't no way I'm going in the shower. So basically, yeah, like that. But I ain't gonna lie, I was in that bed for a good, like, um, I would say the good 20 hours. I, I thought I was gonna be in there for 24 or like a day or two, but I was in there for 20 hours. Because, you know, the bond lady said, you know, as soon as we post this, you could get out as soon as one. We don't hold you, this and that. We're not gonna hold you. As soon as we post this and someone pays it, you're gonna get out. You feel me? So they posted it. Boom, my thing was $5,000. By the time it was ready for me to go, they called everybody up. It was ready for me to go. They gave me my stuff back, this and that. My boys were waiting for me outside and... Here I am today, you feel me? So listen, bro. Listen, bro. I know there's some dangerous people out there. I know y'all be smoking, carrying a fire, this and that. Look, I ain't snitching. You feel me? I ain't saying no names, bro. But trust me, bro. Like, that's just a place you don't want to keep going, bro. Like, 
It's like, I ain't gonna lie, there's like literally a couple, a few cellmates literally was telling other people like, bro, you love coming here, bro. You just don't learn, bro. Like someone literally telling another person like, you just don't listen, bro. And he always be coming back there, bro. Like, bro, the cellmates I went, I literally like, after I got out of jail and once they posted my bond and stuff like that and all this, I'm looking at all these other people that I was with, you feel me, their charges. I'm like, damn, they got like five, seven warrants. Some people, like I said, domestic violence, they got warrants. I'm like, damn, bro. And then, like, bro, they have, like, five to six mug shots. Like, each person probably has, like, six to seven mug shots, bro. I'm like, bro, this person don't learn, bro. This person don't listen, bro. Like, you literally will look at all these mug shots and they're like, damn, these per this person don't listen at all, bro. They don't listen, bro. They always going to jail, but they just don't learn, fam. That's the crazy thing about that, bro. I don't encourage none of y'all to do no hot shit, no Z shit, no dumb shit at all, or nothing like that, bro. I want y'all to do the right thing, bro. Like, you feel me? This was just a little slap on the wrist. So, Cold Springs, you got that, bro. It's a nice little slap on the wrist. Y'all got that. Lesson well learned. I will not do no more Z, no more dumb shit in your city ever again. And that goes to everybody in your damn city as well. Whatever city you is at, do not do some dumbass shit in the most hottest city where police don't play. If you know police do not play that shit, don't do no dumb shit. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned from this video and not do what I did or make any mistakes in life. You get what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, this was a West lesson well learned, bruh. Don't do none of the shit I have done, bruh. This is something you just don't want to experience in life, bruh. But literally, I was only in that for like 20 hours. You feel me? I had to thug it out, this and that. You feel me? All this other stuff. If there's something that I have missed and you have any questions about, drop it in the comments below. You feel me? I'm willing, I'm finna sit on this video for a while. You feel me? I'm gonna answer all y'all questions as I go, type stuff. But listen, bro, don't be doing none of that, bro. Anyways, it's your boy. And I'm out this bitch.